So hello and good afternoon. This is Rupa Solo from Curval.com and today I'm going to give you three quick tips you probably want to know about Power BI. So let's begin. Okay, so this is going to be a fast but sweet video, I think. So tip number one, this was reminded, um, my customer of mine remind me of all of this. So one of the things you, you normally do before I, you know, uh, hand over a report is to put everything in place, right? You have to make sure that all these things are aligned and you know. So what we're going to do is align this here at the top. And the, the only thing you need to do is to align the first one. You put, I don't know, country there and the other one you wanted to have somewhere in there, like where it is. And then you go to format, select, control select all of them, align to the top and you will align to the highest one. And now let's say that we want to distribute evenly between the first one and the last one. Just go distribute and it will move and then you have them in perfect order. You can do this with any visual that you have on the report. So that is for quick number one. For quick tip number one. Quick tip number two. It is about titles. You know, I've shown you in several videos how to do these uh, dynamic titles. So you go here. Pick a country and then here it says something. Now I wrote uh, total says Canada, but if I don't select anything, it will say blank. And depend on how this title is built, you don't want to have blank, you don't want to have a text either. You just want to have it empty. And a way to do it, super easy. You go here to the title and it says if something is selected here, write total sales in mm, which is basically what we see when we select something. And if not, that's what is missing here. That's why it's saying blank. You write unitar then or car. I don't know how you say that in proper English, but you use that unitar ten, and you are going to see what this does. It's super cool. I don't choose anything, and boom, it's gone. <laughs> really, really, really useful. Okay, so unicor, unitar, however it's called, ten. It is an empty, it's in a space, it's a blank, and you can use it in DAX and it will be t interpreted as blank and it will show nothing. So no more blanks, 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 blanks everywhere, okay? Super useful. Okay, um, one more trick. And this is quick, <laughs> quick tip number three. This is something that I've waited for so long and the Power BI team released it and because I haven't used it, I mean, I was using it in Excel. Let me tell you, let me show you. Total sales. Do you see what happens when I hover? There is a text that it says what this measure is. It's total sales in local currency. So you can actually add annotations to the columns and the measures on your model. This is super, super useful, something that you should definitely use. And to do that, you click dot, 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 properties, and you write the text in there, whatever you need. I know that if you're a big company, this is not the best way to maintain. I mean, you have like local definitions on local Power BI files. It is a mess. There is not a good way to manage this centralized. I thought the data, Azure Data Catalog would be. It's definitely not. So hopefully Microsoft comes with a solution for it. But if you're a small company, or if the file is for yourself, make sure you make annotations so useful. I mean, they are absolutely brilliant. In any annotation you make in SSIS, it will come to Power BI. So if you're using SSIS, hallelujah, you have a solution, <laughs> okay? But you will have to manage the descriptions manually in SSIS. So you will have to do it yourself and not the business. I just want to know, let you know that. But quick three tips, hopefully they're useful for you. Okay, I've been talking like a mad woman, <laughs> fast, fast, fast. But um, I hope you like this video. Let me know by liking it in this case. Uh, I can make more quick tip videos if you want. Just again, let me know, comment box or like the video. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. I power, publish Power BI videos three times a week. Power Query, Power BI, DAX, I cover everything. Uh, click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos in case you want to follow. So I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.